Uh, this is Jamin from Oak Ridge. I, I want to thank the reviewers and the chairs um, for their comments and suggestions. And then my topic is evaluating CUDA portability with uh, HIPCL and uh, DPCT. Mm -hmm. uh, this is an, uh, an overview of the, of the talk. Um, um, Amelia CUDA has uh, successfully enabled the use of a uh, GPU as a programmable uh, general purpose computing device. Uh, however, CUDA is a proprietary program model for NVIDIA GPUs. Uh, OpenCL, on the other hand, is an uh, open standard with the support of major graphics hardware vendors. And uh, so OpenCL offers programming portability across a wide range of software and hardware for GPU, uh, multi-core uh, processor and other uh, accelerators. Uh, in contrast to OpenCL, which is based on the C program language, uh, SQL is a specification which defines a single source C++ programming layer uh, on top of OpenCL. So, so so, so SQL allows a developer to create application and library with C++ without using uh, OpenCL host and kernel uh, language. Uh, so the goal of the single source program model is to, uh, uh, and the support of uh, for C++ features are to improve programming product productivity and the performance uh, pot uh, portability. Uh, NVIDIA has been driving uh, most of discrete GPU market. Uh, so there are significant more CUDA um, applic or HIP application available than those uh, implemented uh, in OpenCL and the SQL. And on the other hand, the, the OpenCL uh, uh, API is a lower level uh, architecture compared to the commonly used CUDA API. So it requires more time and effort to develop an OpenCL uh, host program. Um, and it is very, uh, it is often tedious and error prone. So, so we acknowledge CUDA's uh, established presence, presence in high performance computing and uh, uh, alleviating the pain of uh, manual development of OpenCL programs. So I think a lot of researchers have been striving for a portability enhancing path for a wider range of platforms. So, so towards that goal, uh, we, uh, evaluate the performance of applications ported from CUDA uh, using HIPCL and the Intel DPC, uh, DPC++ Plus compatibility tool on, on Intel computing platform. Uh, this is the um, uh, an evaluation flow uh, as, uh, so as a background, as an introduction. So, so HIP and the API are written uh, in the C program language for uh, for developer to run on run application on AMD and uh, NVIDIA GPUs, the hip philosophy was to um, was to um, to make the hip language close enough uh, to CUDA that the porting effort is generally straightforward and simple. Um, a CUDA source can be converted to a hip source. Um, in a larger automat automatic, automated fashion using a uh, HIPify clan utility uh, in AMD's developed tools. Uh, HIPCL uh, is another new tool. Uh, it can, it's a library. It consists of three components, uh, clan, the runtime library, and the kernel library. So uh, a, 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 a patch clan is required, is required to compile a single source C++ program uh, to a Linux uh, ELF binary. And the, the runtime library implements the HIP API function, uh, which are called in a host program. And the kernel library implements the HIP map, mass uh, API by mapping the OpenCLC uh, mass built in and the Intel specific OpenCL uh, extension. The, in, the Intel uh, DPCT tool can migrate a CUDA program um, uh, to a data parallel C++ program. Um, uh, I think uh, Scott and Yong they, they 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 gave a great introduction to the uh, to the DP, to the Intel DPCT tool. Uh, so um, this table lists the uh, the applications uh, that are from the Rodinia benchmark the the shock benchmark and uh, some a few and the uh, proxy app that are, are used in our um, 
in 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 in, in my work. So these applications, uh, hopefully, they can cover a a wide variety of scientific domains and. Uh, and, uh, um, and and as shown in the table, the number of kernels in the table indicate the number of um, distinct kernels which are executed at least once on a device. Uh, the problem sizes of the selected linear bench um, applications, they are uh, larger than or equal to the original uh, sizes uh, for the shock um, programs. Uh, we, chose, we chose one of the four problem sizes specified in the original um, original program and uh, all these uh, implementations they are available in my uh, in my in my public repository called one API derived programming and uh, um, we evaluate the, the application on two uh, on two systems uh, the first system has a um, on the first system uh, the integrated GPU is Broadwell GT3e generation 8. Uh, it contains 48 uh, execution units. Uh, on the second system, the integrated GPU is Coffee Lake GT2. Uh, it contains uh, generation 9.5. It contains 24 uh, execution units. Uh, we use the DPCT tool in the Intel One API base toolkit, base toolkit uh, Beta A to port CUDA codes, and the DPC. DPC plus compiler to pr produce binary from the DPCT codes. And um, we built the HIPCO uh, from the source on each system. And the timing results, they are measured, not measured with the with the Intel OpenCL intercept layer. So the host time is the uh, is the total elapsed time of executing OpenCL API function on a CPU host. And the uh, the device time is the total elapsed time of executing OpenCL uh, API function on a on a GPU device, and the um, and the the, the, the plugin interface is uh, OpenCL uh, because there are two uh, backends. One is OpenCL, the other one is um, Level Zero. So at the time of my work, uh, I think OpenCL is more mature than the Level Zero uh, backend. Um, we so so this figure shows the performance um, of the uh, of these um, eighteen kernels on the two systems. So we uh, we computed the ratios of the host and device time of an application um, ported using DPCT over those ported using HIPCL. Um, um, so when the ratio uh, is one, uh, it means that the execution time of a DPCT application is longer. So um, oh, what we see uh, here from the, these two figures, in the two figures that um, while uh, HIPCL can achieve higher or similar performance for most applications, the host, but the other uh, host application of S3D uh, is significantly longer. Uh, than than the time um, spent on uh, than the time spent um, for uh, for the uh, using the DPCT tools. Um, so uh, so so this is because the uh, because the HIPCO uh, incurs a a a, a, a huge uh, overhead uh, runtime overhead. So and uh, I think that that is uh, that is prohibitive prohibitive uh, for large application that contains. Uh, Many uh, many kernels, and uh, um, so and uh, so so and if we look closely uh, at the uh, at the two figures, we can see that uh, there are four uh, applica four kernels uh, that uh, that perform poorly um, using DPCT on both systems. So they are FFT are uh, sort. Uh, BFS and the B B B plus tree, so um, so 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 uh, so I will look at these four uh, these 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 kernels uh, and to to try to uh, optimize these kernels um, uh, using DPCT. And um, uh, for the first one, uh, sort so um, so there are three three static sort is from the shock benchmark. So there are three static kernel in the sort. So uh, providing the, the application so show that the, the third kernel, uh, which performs a bottom scan, 
is a performance bottleneck. So, so I look back at the DPCT kernels and realize that the defense space uh, of a workgroup barrier um, is global uh, rather than local. So, so as we know, a, a global fence stores the execution of the GPU device for global memory synchronization, uh, which are significantly reducing the, uh, the efficiency of G GPU computing uh, when, when there are many synchronization points uh, in a kernel. So, so, so what I did was to, uh, to, 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 um, to, to convert these global fences to, uh, to local fences. Uh, I, I think that the uh, that the DP, that the, um, DPCT, uh, the fact that DPC doesn't do uh, doesn't convert this um, um, synch uh, barrier synchronization to a local barrier is because um, uh, it it uh, um, pessimistically uh, just uh, conservative or consistently assume that um, these all the all the synchronization are global, not local. Of course, for 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 CUDA developer or for OpenCL developer, they know that uh, a, a barrier is, we only need a local a local barrier uh, in the in the local memory space. So so, and uh, it, it turns out that there are uh, eighteen of the of the uh, sorry eleven of eighteen application contains memory synchronization in their kernels. So after uh, optimization of these kernels with uh, local memory fans, uh, we evaluate, re-evaluate the, their performance and find that uh, seven uh, kernels, they see uh, performance improvement uh, in host and or, or device execution time. Uh, particularly, uh, we see that the execution time of sort is now, is now uh, almost the same for HIPCL and uh, DPCT. And um, for the remaining uh, application, uh, there's no uh, performance uh, improvement. Uh, I think this is because that the memory synchronization is just not on the uh, critical critical path of the of for those kernels. And uh, mm, now we look at the uh, FFT benchmark. Uh, it's 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 also in the it's also one of the shock benchmarks. So. Um, uh, uh, although we apply the uh, local memory fence optimization, but the device execution time of the application is still more than two times slower than the than that of the HIPCO version. So, uh, so for that FFT kernel, there are uh, FFT application. There are two uh, kernels: the FFT and the inverse FFT, and uh, um, and performance profiling uh, show. That the the two kernels um, can be unrolled. Uh, the, the the these four loops uh, shown here they can be unrolled um, by DPCT, but they are they are, they are not unrolled um, by the by the DPC by, by the DPC plus compiler. So uh, without uh, loop unrolling, uh, additional private memory is allocated by the compiler. To store the eight element uh, array, um, the eight uh, element data array, um, um, and uh, which means that it, the compiler is unable to put this array data in in the register file of an execution unit, um, and so um, so this is not efficient. So so after the loops, these two loops are man are, are unrolled uh, manually. Um, and uh, we, uh, what I, um, the device execution time uh, now becomes the same uh, for both uh, HIPCL and the DPCT uh, on both systems. And also the host execution time um, uh, is, also, um, is, is also reduced um, by, pro by approximately 24% approximately and 18% uh, uh, on both systems uh, respectively. Um, I think uh, please look at details in the paper if you are interested. Um, um, the uh, yes, this is um, so. Uh, now we look at the last one, uh, the BFS, and the um, because uh, I think that both kernel BFS and the B plus tree they kind of uh, show the same issue. Um, 
So, 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 so that so I just use the BFS as the as the representative kernel um, to explain the uh, bottleneck. Um, and uh, I, I profile the code, and uh, and uh, the and the and the, and the table shows the um, breaks down the execution time of the OpenCL API functions, um, which account for um, um, uh, ninety percent or more of the total host time uh, on, on the on, on system one. And uh, I think the results show that uh, uh, most of the uh, execution, most of the um, uh, host execution, execution time is spent on the uh, OpenCL API function CL build program for the HIP CL implementation, while um, CL create contacts and the uh, CL link program they can consume uh, most of time for the DPCT implementation. Um, CL uh, build programs compiles and links a program uh, executable from the program source or binary. Uh, CL link programs uh, links uh, compile program objects and a library uh, for a specific device uh, in the OpenCL context. So, so what the table? Uh, so, so the conclusion is that we can we can reduce the link time uh, uh, for uh, to to improve the uh, DPCT uh, performance. Um, now uh, here's the some related work and um, and uh, M CUDA is a uh, source to source translator built upon the uh, C tiers compiler for converting a CUDA program to a program for a multi thread program running on a CPU. Um, Swan provides a high level library uh, for an application. Uh, to call Swan API, which is then mapped to the CUDA or uh, OpenCL APIs. Uh, Coriander is a compiler and the runtime for running um, a CUDA application on OpenCL 1.2 devices. And uh, uh, CUDA2CL is a source to source translator uh, built upon the uh, plan compiler for converting a CUDA program to an OpenCL program. And uh, mm, uh, I, I think that these. Um, this um, work, they are not ready uh, for converting uh, many CUDA programs to uh, OpenCL programs. And uh, uh, I didn't show here is that also people are using the DPCT tools to convert a CUDA program to uh, to DPC plus code, uh, like just like the one presented by Scott and Young, and also um, uh, there are also some work by. Uh, by 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 some research group research group to convert a mass a mass library the Ginkgo uh, mass library to DPC plus and I think the the, the conclusion that um, uh, users uh, we still need to manually uh, convert some some of the uh, DPC C plus code to make compile successful or to manually pull some code uh, because the the compilers. Um, uh, uh, the DPC does not uh, does not necessarily support some of the CUDA features. Um, uh, in conclusion, uh, we find that uh, HIPCL's uh, runtime overhead becomes uh, will become prohibitive when building a large application containing many uh, distinct kernels. Uh, HIPCL is a new library, a new library, so we expect expect that the potential overhead will be mitigated in the future release of software. Uh, on the other hand, the link time in the OpenCL runtime of the Intel One API toolkit may may discourage a a user from offloading computation to a GPU for performance improvement. And the performance analy analyst shows that we need to uh, manually change DPCT program to specify the appro appropriate address space for memory synchronization fence. Um, the DPC the DPC process compiler may be improved to identify the, the opportunity of loop enrolling in a kernel for performance um, enhancement. So, uh, so no tools are perfect in translating a CUDA application. And uh, I would like to evaluate um, more application using HIPCO and the DPCT uh, in my future work. Mm. Uh, finally, I would like to thank the, uh, the 
the DPCT and the HIPCO teams uh, who made a lot of uh, work uh, to 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 op to improve their um, their 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 tool, uh, and uh, also I'd like to thank the uh, my uh, uh, my my sponsor and the, the and also the um, and the reviewers. Um, oh, that's my talk. Thanks.